Hey guys, in this, I'm going to show you how to do some automation uh, between Trello and Zapier. So what I'm showing you here is our Trello board uh, for tracking a new product that we have, which is website visitor identification. Uh, so when someone purchases um, or signs up for a free trial, uh, they automatically it automatically produces a card here on the board so I can see everyone that's um, purchased recently. And then once they fill out the intake form, uh, a card is created automatically uh, here, so I can kind of match that up and I can see who's um, signed up for the free trial that hasn't completed an intake form and then so on, you know, as um, that this step also sends a request to our data team to create you know, a pixel that's going to go on their website. Once that pixel's ready, I move the card over here, it sends it to the client. But what I'm going to do right here, so each of these, each of these movements uh, has a automated step behind it. Some of it's emails to the client, some of it's emails to our data team, uh, some of it's to-dos on our base camp, but it's a very simple uh, automation. I'm gonna show you how to do it with Zapier. So this one that I'm gonna do is for these ones who have uh, signed up for the free trial, but they have not yet filled out the intake form. What I want to happen is I wanna be able to grab this card and move it over here. And for that to trigger an email to the client and nudge them um, to fill out the intake form. So that way, just by looking at this, uh, and eventually we can set it up as a automation, but if this card is here for five plus days, um, then it could automatically just move over here, which would automatically trigger an email. But for this, for starters, I want it to just be a manual thing where I say, okay, these guys have been here too long, throw them over here, send out those uh, reminder emails, and then hopefully they populate here and I can go back here and archive them. And so, I, you know, just moving people along the pipeline. So in Zapier, and this is like the digital glue uh, for everything. I'm going to, I have these little folders. Uh, so I'm actually, I keep them organized. Well, we try. So I have the website visitor ID uh, zaps in this folder. So I'm going to create it in here. That way, anytime I have an issue with website visitor ID or my zaps, uh, I can easily locate them instead of just searching the vast universe that I have. So I'm going to start from scratch here. I'm going to create a zap. And this is uh, where we start. Uh, basically for Zapier, it's if this happens, then do this. And so what I want is when a Trello card moves to this list, just send an email to the client. So we're gonna start with the trigger event, which is Trello. And the event is a card moved to list. Uh, I have 139 zaps. Uh, it wants me to tell it what Trello account. So I'm going to select my Trello account here, hit continue. What board, um, on Trello, we have a lot of different boards. Actually, we have outreach clients, ads clients, uh, visitor ID clients, ad scheduling clients. Uh, so those are all our different boards. So if I go back here, I want to be on the visitor ID board and then what list, uh, like I had said. Oops, it's going to be the nudge to fill out intake form and then card. I'm going to leave empty because any card that goes into that, uh, I want that to trigger it. All right. So it's loading that up. I'm going to test the trigger uh, because I already moved a card into that list. It should have some test data already. Yep. So you can see this is that card. Um, it's a lot of mumbo jumbo, but Karan. Uh, so if I look here, yep, it's Karan. So that looks like it, it grabbed the right one. So when I move a card there, what do I want to happen? I want to send an email. Um, sometimes I'll use Zapier emails, um, but it, it comes out looking a little wonky. So if they, and I think the initial triggers are set by that. So maybe they ignored it. Um, so this one I'm going to send from our in sending domain. So I'm going to type in Gmail and then I'm going to the action or event is going to be send email. I'm going to select my Gmail account, which is uh, impactable support, support at impactable.com. And then you get to set up all the contents of that email. Okay, who's it to? Um, I actually put the client's email in the description of the Trello card, so I can always use that as a, as a trigger. Uh, it's going to be from our impactable email. From name is... 
Actable support. Um, it's already from our support, so I don't need to do that. And this is going to be subject message body. You can do plain or you can do HTML. So I copied the message from the initial. Um, And basically, it's going to be the same message that we sent them, but kind of a nudge. I'm going to say I'm not. The site visitor. trial and then the rest of the message to get started there's intake form spaces out because Zapier gets a little crazy sometimes okay so that's pretty much it um and then i hit continue and i want to test so it's going to send it to this uh client test to continue hit publish and it's on then when i go down here so that's actually on oops i want to name this this is going to be um trial visitor id trial nudge for intake form all right click over here it's going to update so now when I go back here, this is my visitor ID folder. I have the new uh, nudge wherever I want. Yep, right there. Uh, so that's on, all of these are on. So if I come back here, now if I wanna fire off that email, I simply move the card over here. And uh, let me show you, maybe. Let's see. So I'll go into sent. All right, and here are the two emails. So there's the test one. Okay, so it has too much space maybe. I thought it was running it together, but whatever. And then here's the other one. So now that's a nice little, yes, it's a manual step, um, but if it's really good for you know life cycles type, type stuff. So if they get stuck, they've purchased or they've signed up for something, but they haven't done the intake form, you can set this up. And then, like I said, you can honestly automate this um, to where it says that if a card is still in this pile um, after five days, automatically move it over here. So then you would still just have the step of saying, okay, when people fill out intake forms, you know, come or move from, from here. Or you could set up another automated step that says when an intake form is completed, look up on the Trello board to see if that card exists in this and archive that card. That way it's all automated. They, they sign up. Um, if they fill out an intake form, they get... Um, this gets archived and they get moved over here and this triggers a work order to our ADP team completion of that triggers the next step until it's, you know, this kind of automated flow of onboarding and, uh, and that's your Zapier 101 tip for the day.